everybody, it is Wolfman Pro Boy here, and today I I got a new phone. I mean, so everything is gonna change. Bye bye, old survival world. I'm gonna do a new one. But but this means this is really good. I got more storage, which means I can get new games. I already got another new game um, called Stickman Battlefields. And I got some block block fortress. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a bunch of these games. Clash Royale. I'm going to do. I already am good on Clash Royale. I got Force Builder, Pin Out, which is a popular game right now. War Robots is a is a good game. I like it. So, so what happened? I ruined my phone. So. My parents, they said that we were going to go swimming, so I got my swimsuit on, then we had to take like a two hour trip somewhere, we had to like go run errands, and then when we came back, I was so excited, I, I, for, I totally forgot my phone, I jumped in the pool with my phone, and like two minutes later, I was like, I, I was like, hey, where's my phone, and then I noticed it was in the pool. But so we're gonna be playing Terraria today. I am, I, I forgot. I forgot to. So I already have a character. He is pretty good. I am in hard mode already. I defeated the Wall of Flesh. I'll be taking through a tutorial. I will. I uh, I'll be showing you. Oh. What ha What's happening? I can't do anything. Guys, I'm literally touching the screen right now. Uh. Okay. I know how to fix this. The menu, then close it out, delete all this stuff. So I got I got my um, logo on the back of my on my phone. I turned off the music because I because uh, I remember on I was doing a Clash of Clans video and then a, it, was, it was a perfect video then it got totally ruined by the music. So I have I have gotten a lot of good stuff. See, uh, I was trying to find a floating island. That's why I built this thing. But apparently, I can barely even get up there because because bad because bad things keep spawning, like corruptors and slime. See, look, there's there's a corruptor. There's a corruptor right over here. Best way to kill a corruptor. Here's a lesson right here. If, if it's in the rain. Uh, never mind. So you not want to hit it. You don't want to go full on just trying to kill it because it, because you want to because it'll kill you. It does like 50 damage every time it hits you. So you want to just hit it like this. Boom. Then boom. Then boom. Hit it on and on and on. Bye and bye and bye. And this is the demon scythe. It's a demon scythe. So you know, if you if you uh people who have not been in hard mode if you ever go for people who, if you ever go to the underworld and there's demons there they shoot this they shoot that those things that was very risky. that was very risky. there we go other one I was I was uh, not better than this. I was a noob on my phone a long time ago. I needed all my progress. Yeah, I'm glad it did because I had nothing really there. I was so bad compared to me now. So we're gonna be going adventuring today. This is a series. I'm making I'm making a series. I hate nighttime. It's so bad. I need to get some better stuff. I've already gotten souls. I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard to. Uh, where's the chest? So it's down here. I'm really trying, really, really, really hard to get the. Um, see. If you see what I'm doing with the 
souls of night and the big uh, and giant harpy feather. I'm trying to make wings. Really, really, really bad. On my friend's PS, on my friend's PS4, um, I was playing. So wings were like the best thing because he he was already in hard mode and stuff. So wings were like the best thing ever. And so um, so Terraria is very glitchy. I would advise you. If you ever get something really good, if you ever get like really good or something, you do not want to lose any progress. Because Terraria will glitch out whenever you like are really good. Which I wasn't, I don't know why. But, um, so my friend, he had the Terra Blade. He, he, be, he, was, he beat the game. He beat the whole Terraria game. And it, then it glitched out on him to save his progress. Which I have done because I cloud saved. I, I cloud save. But guess what, guys? Yesterday it deleted all my progress. But actually, if you if you delete all your progress from the local, then it, then it um then it, it did not delete it from the from the cloud, which that is very good. Because you if you save it on your local, which I do every single day, I do it every every single day. When I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play Terraria today. Or every whatever day I play Terraria, I or whichever day I'm on my phone, I go to Terraria. The first thing I do, and and I delete it on cloud, then I re and I re back and I I delete it, save on cloud, then I back it up. So how do you do that? I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I need I actually need to do it. So what you do is go to cloud save trash. Oh. And you're thinking, oh no, you just deleted your guy. No, I did not. Do cloud. Then, boom, he saved. Same thing. Cloud, local, cloud, local. You go to, you go to world. You save your favorite worlds. Or if you don't want to delete it, and you're, oh, oh, please don't crash on me. Don't do this. Okay, good. So if you want to save it on this world, <coughs> find your favorite world, worlds. Worlds you don't really care about, you can keep it there. It's just, yeah. Trash this world. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to be very, very careful when you get, when you go to tr tr trashing stuff. So you gotta make, you gotta like double, you gotta like triple check everything. And try not to go on the cloud saved world. Try and go on to the local world. So yeah. So now it's saved. So the, probably my favorite NPC is the first guy you meet, not the guide. Uh, my second favorite is this dude. No, you can be certain. Goblin Tinker. Come on, do it. So. Then my ne my favorite is this guy. He sells various things. When you get in a hard mode, he sells greater healing potions. If you're in easy mode or whatever it's called, then he only sells lesser healing potions. So platinum. So if you think that gold coins are just the maximum, no, platinum coins is the, is the maximum type of coin. I have one platinum coin. They look like this. Do not mix them up with silver. They are not silver. If you want to get to the platinum coin, try and try and save up with your stuff. Save, save up your gold. Put put all your gold in your piggy bank. And get a couple of silver and stuff. That's all you have to do. You know what, guys? I'm gonna defeat. I'm gonna go and try and kill the wall of flesh. You have to try and get the mini shark. The mini shark is really good. Not kidding. I'm currently trying to get the. You know what's happening? I'm trying to get. See these two? I'm trying to get the. Uh, what's. Whatchamacallit? Um. 
thingy. Uh, forgot. Um, the Knight's Edge, I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, one of the swords I have is a soup is a superior enchanted sword. Wait, yesterday it said it had forty damage. That's jack crap. So it had forty damage on it. Okay, that's that's messed up. So defense is a very big thing you want to do. See the vi the magma stone. It's pretty good. You want the fleeting lava charm. And the and the shield. Obsidian. You want to get obsidian. A while back, what happened? They shut up. They made you, they gave you a deal. So they said if you rate the game a long, a long time ago, please comment if you remember this. I am serious. I'll show you. I get rid, got rid of all the hellstones. But um so what happened is they set here's obsidian. Wonder how? I wonder why I have 206 obsidian. I used to have 500. What they said a long time ago was I think it, um, if you um I think what was it? If you give like if you rate this game five stars, then they'll give you 500 and 500 obsidian, which is a good deal. I mean. I just rate the heck of it. Really good. And they just took a view with me. I'm like, yeah. If I needed a hell forge for to get to use all this stuff, so I just kept away in a chest and didn't even care about it. I mean I was a noob back then. So, um the main goal you want to do don't don't try and get a pickaxe. Don't try and get an axe. Get a good sword with over 10 damage. When you first play, get a sword with o over 10 damage. Or get any weapon with over 10 damage. Then, get armor with over 2, um, 2 or 3, 3 defense. See, the molten set is a good set. <coughs> then, yeah. That's so all you gotta do. <sighs> what is this thing right here? Saying it. Gotta, what is that thing right there? What is that like screaming thing? What is it? I'm trying to press it. Do I can I like drag on it or something? Nope. Mana stars and health. That is like really, really, really important. Wait, I've already passed. Way back here. I'm gonna go to the underworld and show you my underworld. Cause I've been there a billion times. I'm not gonna fight the wall of flesh, actually. No, this is not the way. It's not that far down. I mean, I've pretty much memorized this place. There's a mushroom biome. You have to go in a mushroom biome to go in to make it there. So that's pretty good. I mean, I, I've I've seen five truffle worms next to each other. So truffle worms are, are, are a really big thing in hard mode. They only spawn in hard mode. And you have to get them to spawn in Duke Fisher on one of the last bosses. I think it's the third last. Then it's the, then it's the lunatic cultist. Then it's the... Rocket boots are a good thing. I mean, I have rocket boots on. See, we use a mushroom bomb. This is the mushroom bomb. This is the mushroom bomb. And chocolate worms will spawn here. But there's two mushroom bombs, actually, in this place. So it's right here. You'll see is um you'll see like a glowing blue. So 
so so um truffle worms will be on the ground. These are not truffle worms, this is called the glowing snail. You'll see it. You'll know when you see it. Dang, stop it. Stop it. Boy. Stay here in peace. Shoot me. God, no, yeah, I'm just gonna go. I know where they are. They're right there. Then the best thing, the best way to go into the underworld is probably to um bring water with you. Is to, like strike like an underground ocean or something. Like a really big body of water underground. Probably the best. This, see this right here when it changes right here. You, that's in the underground. Okay. If you want to use a trap, you need the a. You need the mechanic. B. You need some lava. See, and you need wires, a lever, and a mechanic. And you need, so um. So you need like build a ditch or something. Build a really not deep hole, but like a hole. Then you need to build. Then you need to like um attach the little things that toggle off the block. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. There's these things. In the mechanic. So you need to go to the mechanic for not for all of this, but for some. I think. These things, Accutator, what's this thing? Mechanic's rod. Uh-huh. Okay. So you need this, this, and a bunch of these, and these. Oh, wait, no, 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 these. How do you get green, how do you get blue and green water? That would look cool. So what you do is you build like a, you build like a ditch, or like a hole. Maybe use this for example. Build like a room, like over here, build like a hole, over here, build like a room with a door, right here. You put the lever, see this chest right here? This chest right here that I'm standing by. This is, could be the lever. You flick the leather, then boom, this this thing opens. See this, this thing right here? It opens, they fall down, put some lava right here. Put some lava right here, then you get... There's a couple stairs right here. You go up here into a little place, then bam. It's a little trap. That's really good for like weight of the go goblin army or maybe the um, solar eclipse and stuff. Really good. So, the wizard is pretty good. I mean, he gives you greater mana and potions, but I would like it if he gives us me um some like greater healing potions because i like those more i don't really care about the mana potions but um yeah so that that's probably gonna be it for the video that was just a tutorial but i'll start the series maybe next time so, see you guys bye